All right, hello folks. We're just going to do a quick uh, linked list tutorial, something you probably haven't seen uh, before. So I'm going to walk us through getting started, uh, creating a new uh, linked list. Um, and before I actually get started, I'm going to do Tmux. So I can split the window, Control B, Shift uh, to hit the percent sign, and then Control B to flip back and forth uh, between my windows. And I'll open up Vim here, linklist.c. Uh, Okay, so we need to include some libraries. Uh, we'll need the standard output and our standard library. And this will be for malloc and free functions. Um, so we can allocate stuff <coughs> on the heap. <coughs> so uh, as always, we'll start with our main function um, where we'll sort of write our code. And for this lab, what we're trying to create is um, some link list, okay? So we're gonna create some node structure um, to store, you know, how many wins uh, the Red Sox get every year, okay? Uh, so type def here um, allows us to sort of name our struct nodes. We don't have to type struct node every time. Um, and we'll call it node t, that's our new data type. Uh, now internally within the node, uh, we need to link to another node. So this is a pointer to another node. This is how they're going to connect, okay? Um, and typically we just call that uh, next, so we know what the next thing that they point to. Uh, and the data that we need to store is the wins uh, and the years. You know, we could have a bunch of other uh, fields here, you know, home runs or, you know, batting average, uh, you know, whatever. Um, but for now, we'll just have these uh, things here. Okay, uh, so first let's create a uh, node here, and it's a pointer. Um, and I'm going to name it uh, Red Sox. Um, and we're actually going to want to uh, allocate this uh, on the heap. Right now it doesn't point to anything, right? So we could say null, that's sort of the best practice here. Um, so let's actually um, point to a list that will be created in another function. Okay, so we have this function we're going to call create list. It doesn't take in anything um, for now. Uh, and what it's going to return is, well, a pointer um, to the start of our list. Okay, um, so uh, in essence, if I go down here, I want to do red socks equals, you know, whatever this list creates for us um, for this example. Okay, so we need some uh, nodes to create. This could be my head, for example, of the list. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit simpler. I'm just going to call it year 2018 or 2019. Uh, 2018 was the last season as of this writing. Uh, and we need to allocate space. Um, for uh, a node, which will uh, store some information in. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this process: Shift V uh, to select a line, Y to yank, and then P to paste. Uh, and then let's change these. Let's just do a few years um, for this assignment. Um, so I've created three nodes on the heap. So they've been malloced. That means they're created. Um, they're going to persist even after we leave this function. Okay. Um, so. Um, so what we want to return then is the head of this list, which will be uh, year 2018. Okay. Okay. So let's actually populate the data in each of these nodes. So year uh, 2018. Uh, well, we're storing the the years or whatever. Uh, maybe singular is better, but years here. Shift V Y paste. Uh, let's sort of update these. 17, 16. 17, 16, okay. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing for uh, the wins. 2018, how many wins they had? Uh, 108 uh, this year. Uh, 2017 and 2016, they had 93 each. Uh, I'm just gonna write one as 92, sorry Red Sox fans, just so we can see that the data is different in traversing properly. Okay, so this is sort of setting up our data here. Um, of data in each node, which is great. Um, but now let's actually uh, link uh, the list. Okay, so sort of chain things together. Uh, now to do this, the head of our list is year 2018, and we want to point that to, uh, well, the next year, 2017. Okay, um, so we do that by saying 2018's next, the thing it points to, right? It's got to point to a node. Uh, as we see in line five here. So it points to 2017. Okay, so then uh, 
year 2017, the next uh, thing it points to is year 2016. Okay, and then year 2016, well, the next thing it points to, well, there's no more data here, so just null. That's where our list um, ends here. Okay, um, so I'm going to save this, exit, colon, W, control B to shift to my other window. Uh, I'm going to try to compile this. You can use GCC or Clang. Uh, both are available on the server. Call this linked uh, list. Uh, let's just call it linked list like this. Uh, it's probably better to compile more often uh, than what you just saw. Um, I sort of know what I'm writing, but you should compile, save, and often uh, very frequently. Okay, so this creates our list here. And now it's been created, uh, and it returns this you know, head of our list, year 2018. Um, let's actually double check that it was um, <clears throat> uh, created. So we can sort of like iterate through and look at each of the years um, that go through. So we're gonna iterate here. Uh, we can't use like a while loop or something because when we point to things in memory, we don't know exactly where they're gonna be uh, allocated when we do this malloc, right? Which box in memory is it gonna point to? Uh, we don't know exactly. Um, so we create a uh, iterator. So this is a pointer. It points to something. We're going to point it to our red socks. So this is the head of our list. Okay, so point to head of list here. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, and while our iterator is not equal to null, and this is a common pattern, uh, we're going to say iterator equals uh, iterator next okay so it's going to point to the next thing that it points to okay so so this iterator uh, which points to uh, red socks initially here the next time we run through this loop it's going to point to well what's the next uh, node here that we point to okay so for 2018 it's going to point to 2017 2017's next points to 2016 2016's next points to uh, null here. Okay, so that's when we'll terminate. We'll have nothing else in our linked list. Okay, and since uh, our iterator is essentially pointing to Red Sox, so it's sort of like the same thing, we can um, get some uh, data from it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's print out uh, the wins uh, in some year. Percent %d is a format specifier. It's sort of a placeholder. Uh, and let's also do uh, the wins here like this. So our iterator uh, years. We're dereferencing here. Our iterator, let's see, it, um, and then control P will sort of autocomplete for us and help uh, wins. And let's see, let's save, let's compile, see if I made any mistakes. No mistakes, I got lucky. Uh, linked list, um, and that's the linked list. Okay, so things I want you thinking about. Uh, one, we didn't free our memory, free our memory. Um, so you've got to do that, sort of iterate through and think about how you're going to free some node. Again, you could have many temporaries if you want, many temporary nodes pointing to things. Uh, once you free them, you can't use them though, so be aware of that. Um, things to think about, how we use this function here to return a pointer to something we mount. So that means it sort of lives forever until we free it. Uh, and since we have... Uh, that pointer here, we could use it here. So if I wanted to create another function called like uh, print list, okay, so it's not going to return anything, but maybe it takes in a uh, node t, you know, the head of that list, um, and sort of does, you know, most of this work uh, that we just did. Okay, so those are some things you can try out. See if you can actually just have a uh, print list red socks uh, that works. Okay. Uh, let's actually just compile that to see you got the signature there uh, and you can go forward uh, But that should get you started with most of the way of the homework and lab and uh, sort of understanding things. Thanks